hi everyone welcome back to the channel it has been a hot minute since i have vlogged i gave myself an unexpected break um from vlogging just because um i just didn't really feel like there was anything else really to show you that was interesting um so i pretty much stopped vlogging probably when they gave us the announcement that um lockdowns were going to be extended until October or potentially November just depending on how things go here in Victoria, Melbourne Me Melbourne, Victoria, sorry so yeah, I just, well, I wasn't depressed or anything I just didn't really have anything else to show you guys so I thought I would just stop there because I didn't want to force myself to create videos again um, when there's nothing really to talk about and that's how I usually get a burnout when I just force myself to do something and there's nothing really to force out if that makes sense anyway, um, things that have changed um, not much, like I said said um i got new headphones you guys saw i was wearing them um these ones are from a brand called edifier these ones have active noise cancelling i've never had anything with active noise cancelling before so trying them out for the very first time was very interesting um i got these from amazon they were really good um i think they were only like 120 130 australian dollars not too bad um at this point in time the rules have well there are some rules that have relaxed not a lot um so you can go 10ks for exercise you know the normal stuff that you can do um you can have picnics outdoors um exercise up to three hours as far as i'm aware those are the rules so far um so my partner and i are thinking of maybe going out and maybe having a little picnic dinner so normally when we do have picnics like this we would invite his family but his family lives further away so we can't do that so it's just going to be me and him um so yeah i'm just really excited because this is going to be like our first time really going out out um i haven't really left the house like i think the longest i didn't leave the house was probably 23 days and that was just like my own choice and um, the, the most i would do is probably go down to the bins i wouldn't really consider that going out because it's literally just a few steps out of the front door um but yeah today's going to be the first time we're going to be doing something really outdoors um also if you guys are wondering like how we got groceries just online that's pretty much what we've been doing just online deliveries uber eats has been pretty much um how i've been getting some of the random things that i need or forgot from a major shop um but yeah that's pretty much it it's just arrived i placed an order online on kim's warehouse website because we needed a couple of things um nothing too important but i saw that they had free delivery for this stuff and i thought that was really cool so this is actually delivered by i think doordash actually not them specifically um not available for all items um so I've been using these. These are fat metabolism tablets, so they basically speed up your metabolism. And then we're also running low on some hand wash, so I thought I'd grab that. This was all free delivery, so if you compare it to paying $9.90 or whatever it is for Ozpost, and that takes a couple of days, that was like no brainer. <laughs> like, just get it. Obviously, not available for all items. I think certain items that are, let's say, available only online, they come from their warehouse, and I don't know where that is, so you'll have to go through Ozpost for that. Um, or click and collect and that's still going to take a couple of days and not that I needed this ASAP but I was running low so I thought I would just buy one so this is actually a lot cheaper online compared to going in store which it doesn't really make sense but hey whatever it's free delivery I also like the bag I also like the fact that the bag's paper so it's all recyclable so I think this is how I'm just going to get all my sort of like chemist sort of stuff now um, considering they just live within three hours so there's two options three hours and then I think the end of the day by 6 p.m. Um, I don't know if it's a promotion or anything. I couldn't see anything on the website, but I just thought that was a really, really cool feature that they have at the moment. Um, we got some McDonald's we have for dinner. Um, I wanted something else, but realistically, there's only like two places that do drive in takeaway for us here. Um, we could have ordered something for Uber Eats and waited, but it didn't really feel the same. So, yeah, we'll just do this. I got some nuggets because Nug Life. Um, and I'll show you guys the view. So, normally when we do go out for our little dinners by the water, we normally go to the beach, so somewhere like Altona, Williamstown, but we live way too far away from there and we only are allowed to drive or wander around like 10 k's, I think. 
Um, so this will do. This is a river um, near my uh, home. So this will do. I really don't mind this view actually. Um, they've also got little picnic tables there so we could have gone out there but not really dressed appropriately because we were just thinking we'll be doing drive through. Yeah that's going to be a little outdoor activity for the first time in probably a month I'd like to say. Um, like literally out of the house not including that also includes like going to the supermarket. That was the last time I went to the supermarket and went for my walk. That vlog, that was <laughs> ages ago. But anyway, we're gonna eat now and just enjoy the view. Right, so we're back home. I'm just in the filming room and I'm just gonna tidy up in here because the desk is just a little bit in disarray. I have been trying to get into the habit of keeping the makeup desk in order, but that just doesn't happen sometimes. Um, so I'm just gonna tidy things up, put things back into the appropriate drawers, and then I'm gonna work on the boxes down there. So I ideally would like to keep that sort of like free from any products or anything like that, but just because I've been very disorganized when it comes to sorting out my PR packages, um, it's just ended up like that. So I'm going to plan and just, just probably prop the camera here and then just kind of like point it down so I can show you guys me like emptying boxes and then putting it into the appropriate drawers um, or appropriate storage. I've got other things that I think I can put them in and then put all the recyclable packaging essentially into like one box so I can throw them in the recycling bin. I was supposed to do that today but I got a bit tired. So like after I worked out, we had to go out for dinner after that shortly. And uh, after dinner, we just, I just wanted to chill. So I'm just gonna do that now. Um, so yeah, enjoy the little time lapse. So if you guys can hear um, stuff in the background, that's the heat, it's freezing in this room. Um, a facial roll, I forgot I had one of these. I actually wanted to use one of these. I'm very skeptical about these, but I'm really intrigued as well. So I have this one from Revlon, so I'm gonna give that a go and let you guys know. It's like Christmas, seriously, for me when I do sort of like these declutters because I find stuff that I forgot I even had, like completely forgot, like ugh, there's a heap of products, I'll show you guys a bit later, um, but yeah, there's a lot of products in here that I'm like, wow, I forgot that I even have that, so I'm really, really <laughs> happy that I have rediscovered them. Oh my gosh, guys, you can see the back, I haven't been able to see the back bit of this desk in probably a year now, so um, I think probably a year ago or so now, things started to get a little bit hectic in terms of the PR samples, and I was getting really really busy at work so I didn't really have time to really focus and basically use the product so that's how PR to like pile up in my room so um it got to a point where it was really hectic and I had a little pile over there and it just got too big so I decided to put stuff under here because I thought you guys can't see it anyway because I uh, my camera's way up there you guys can only ever really see up to here um so it was like perfect to just kind of like hide everything down here but then obviously it's just not a very good setup um and that's the whole thing about this bit lockdown I've been really thinking about how to make things a little bit more um organized i'm definitely not the most organized person on the planet but um i just wanted to kind of like have a little system at least um and i also have an imac in here that i haven't used in probably three two three years now i want to get another desk and put it in the corner and connect that imac to the um here i am again connected to the camera i'm really tired at this point so my my words aren't really coming together um but i want to connect it to the camera that way i can use it as a monitor and then directly transfer all the information onto a hard drive using that computer i feel like that's going to be easier um and then i have the choice of editing in here or edit outside on the big computer um yeah i mean it's a very old imac but it's still i think it's a 24 inch or 21 inch screen so you know that's still pretty big it's pretty massive i can still do a lot of things with that but yeah i'm just going to continue finishing off some of these boxes here i don't think i'll be able to get rid of all the boxes to be honest i think there's like one or two boxes in there that i might have to just relocate somewhere else um because i do want to keep that box for a specific purpose because i don't really want to keep buying organization pieces if i don't have to if i can just use a box i'll use that instead it's definitely diy but you know 
we'll, we'll go to work with what we've got um, and then I'll quickly show you guys a little overview of the products I have taken out of the boxes. I probably won't show you guys um, me putting them back into the drawers um, because I'm getting tired. So I've had breakfast as you guys saw, um, I used that Noshi, Noshu, so, like almost sugar-free pancake mix and also that sugar-free or almost sugar-free, I think, um, maple syrup. Um, so yeah, I was just trying to cut out sugar as much as possible in the diet, so that's what I made. And normally we have hash browns, eggs, bacon um, for breakfast on a Sunday, but thought I'd switch it up because I've had that pancake mix in there for like maybe a month now and I thought oh, I should probably use it. Um, I still have that cookie mix, I still haven't used. Anyway, I've just washed my face, I've just shaved um, and now I'm about to put on some skincare but I also wanted to, I guess, give you guys a little demonstration how I, well I wouldn't call it a demonstration because I don't even know how to use this but um, I guess first impressions on this roller. So again, this one is from Revlon. I believe you're supposed to use a serum, um, so I'm going to be using this one. This one's the Ulla Hendrickson True Serum, which is a vitamin C serum. I'm going to use two pumps, a little bit more than usual, just because I feel I'm going to need a little bit more of that moistness to work with. Um, I feel like I'm going to struggle and my skin might absorb most of the product before. I normally, I just use one pump. So, instructions said to just roll up. Oh, it is nice and cool. I think it's because of whatever this material is. I don't think it's in jade, but whatever this is. I've seen people say that this helps with tightening the skin, that sort of thing. And I kind of agree, I guess, when it comes to lymphatic massages, um, because I've been doing that with my fingers and I have noticed when I do that, my face does look a little bit sharper. Um, not so, not like super sharp, like I've been contoured or anything, but it's very subtle and I notice it, so that's important. But yeah, I feel like it does work to a certain extent because when you do wake up, you do end up looking a bit puffy. Um, even for men, once you reach a certain age, you just look really puffy. Um, I'm gonna use this one for the eyes. I'm assuming you do this to the sides. The serum's already sort of like absorbing, so I'm trying to rush, but yeah, it does kind of work. Um, I wouldn't say it's going to replace like, I don't know, like fillers or like a facelift or anything like that. Okay, so this is the current state of the filming room. So this is the part that I was kind of working on. As you guys can see, it's a bit of a mess. Um, I will try and work that out today. I honestly got really, really tired last night um, that I kind of just, ugh, that. <laughs> Anyway, um, I've got this box down here, so this is the one that I've been using um, to put all the recycling in. I've got that big box on top, it's full of lashes. I don't really know where to put them just yet, so I'm leaving it in the box. I've got two boxes down there, they're both sort of like novelty boxes from PR Packages, so I kind of want to keep them, so I'll just keep them down there for now. And then there's these boxes up here, also recycling. And then I've got these three boxes down here that are also filled with products, which I have to put into one of the tubs. Um, but yeah, I did as much as I could last night. I'm pretty impressed with myself again, because normally this stuff takes me hours, but I managed to just do it in two hours, because um, I normally get distracted. Um, and also because I was also watching a show. So again, very impressive. Um, I wanted to show you guys quickly, um, I've added more lipsticks into the lipstick drawer. So I think the old lipstick, so I think before I started adding more lipsticks, it was only up to this row maybe, and then I found more lipsticks, so I've just popped them all here. And then um, I found more longer lipsticks, so I popped them in there. And then I also found these ones from Lipstick Queen that I received like ages ago. So um, I think these are all lip glosses, they're all like really fancy looking um, 
galactic sort of like lip glosses also found some from Lani so um I'm going to be very interested to see if the other boxes also have lipsticks because then I feel like I'm actually going to run out of space um because I've already kind of like hit me in the back already of this one so yeah I have a lot of lipsticks so I've only probably shown you guys one third of the box piles in this room um I'm going to slowly work on the second one because that's where I'm going to be putting the desk which is going to be in that corner over there so you guys can see there's like products already there um and then there's another corner where it's just filled with boxes as well so I'm going to work on that as well I think I'm going to take a bit of a break posting on Instagram for maybe a few days um to try and kind of work on this stuff and also because I'm a bit frustrated with the algorithm at the moment um I know you guys probably hear this a lot from content creators but I feel like the algorithm has just really just stopped liking any of my content switch up the hashtag switch up the times and everything made stuff very engaging it's still not working so I'm just gonna give it a break because it's really really annoying at the moment um and I'm just gonna focus on creating some content as well but that that being said I'm still going to um, probably film some content over the next few days um halloween's around the corner so i want to do some creative looks as well um some of you guys have engaged in some of the polls that i've posted which is thank you which is great thank you so much so at least i know what kind of looks you guys are wanting um most of you guys are wanting more creative eye look as opposed to like a whole face one so i'm going to throw in a couple of face ones still because i feel like those are very appropriate for halloween but most of the looks are probably going to be more like um those really interesting eye looks with like the lines and stuff like that so that's the plan